I'm making beats while on my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty much just bringing a whole, a whole nother a light to the game. Like, you got a lot of people doing this trap sound now, but the drums are distorted. Or you got a lot of people uh, that sampling, but you know what I mean? The sounds is not real crispy, you know what I mean? So just pretty much bringing all the sounds together and just bringing a crispy, a crispy sound to it, you know what I mean? There's no reason why you gotta have trap songs without it sounding as clean as you know, whatever other genre. So just making music clean again. You know, so bringing that quality back. Yeah, bringing the quality back. Bring the quality back. So that's very essential. What's your name? Who that? I don't know if I should look directly at the camera or look away or what. Like, what are some of your projects that you're currently working on? I'm working on the uh, Gunplay Project, the uh, Trap Herbalist, you just knocked that out on Gunplay Made by Music. Um, working with uh, Titty Boy, uh, DPP, 2 Chains. Um, working on a TK and Cash Project, they got a project called G-Shot Music. Um, G-Shot Music has DPP as well. Oh yeah, 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 working on um, Concrete Boys. They uh, signed a Young Jock swag team. Did a couple records for them. Oh, it's not for the team I see you Hey, yo, check it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did the, uh, the NOE um, Gladiator record. They're really um, bubbled on the internet or whatever. Did a uh, World Star video for that. Um, worked with 40 Cali Dipset. Did some records for his, uh, for his mixtapes. Um, Oh yeah, we're with uh, Lil Twist of Young Money. Did a joint for our uh, yearbook mixtape. Um, did some records. Uh, did a record with our uh, Ace Hood. Uh, no, look, what are you looking for from are... this particular deal? Because right. This is the only deal that you're working with right now. Exactly. What do I want from this particular deal? If those things aren't in, you know, aren't in the fine print, then you don't have to sign this I'm contract. pretty sure like a lot of these guys that he signed before had like good lawyers to read over these see, deals. See, I mean, now, look how their career have gone. Right now, see what happens though. What happens? Puff. What happens is the, the the deal is good because they give you a lump sum of money. money yeah. You know what I mean? So you're looking at a lump sum of money and they. they That's not always good you, though. They shoot you, you up to a, they shoot you up to a certain level, you fuck and they make you look bigger than life. Yeah. But you go, you get bigger than life, and then once you have to keep on paying it for that promotion. No yeah, yeah. And then boom, when that record's not that's, gone, that's and then you fall, that's what makes it look like you fall off. They say like you start off at the red, basically. You, yeah. You owe niggas for promotion. Right. And but that's but that's the beauty right there. When you okay. sign to a major label, you start off in the red. You start off in the red, but they don't pay all that money for promotion, so there's no way that you can't be the biggest nigga on earth. You know what right, I mean? Right. Right. Yeah.